Hello everybody and welcome to Computer Games. Today we are going to be looking at a very unique computer. This is a computer called the Retron 5. Its main function is something called emulation. Emulation is something people have very strong opinions on. You won't have to look for on YouTube to find other people talking about how they feel on emulation. I am actually a fan of it. Um, I think if implemented properly, <laughs> as long as it is either making something more accessible or enhancing the original product, I think it's well worth it. And I actually think the Retron 5 does a good job of that. Uh, today is a video where I'm going to demonstrate really how, how the Retron 5 can make graphics look so great on an HD television. The game we're going to be looking at is Super Donkey Kong. That is the Japanese version of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, basically the same game. You do get to see a unique intro screen if you've never played the Japanese version before. Along with that, I do want to add in future videos, we're going to be looking at some games that even take this a little bit further with how they add new depth to the graphics. But let's get started. So you can see we're starting the game with no graphic filters on. Okay, as you can see, on an HD television without the natural scan lines we were used to back in the 90s, the characters look a little extra blocky. Now that there's, there's more light on it, a little bit more natural looking, but you can see the, the screen with Cranky where it started up looks very different than how we remembered it. And here we go, here is the unique Japanese intro screen. Now let's get started with the game. As you can see, blockier than we remember. You can see some unique details on the HD television. But mind you, the, the depth of things like the treehouse, it, it, it really looks like it isn't made with the uh, advanced hardware that just photocopied onto the Super Nintendo's graphics like it was. Like, uh, unique way this game was made. Okay, so we've got a basic look at the character. Now let's see what it looks like when we apply the graph filter. Okay, game, and then we can see before it starts back up, we have a very different looking main character on the screen. If we were to rewind and look at some of the other things, we would also notice it's a lot more 3D looking. If anybody is under 30, they're probably laughing at me, but this is what we consider 3D looking in 1994. So, let's see how the game runs. Okay. Now, some of the problems you can have with emulation is a game runs too fast, and you'll notice the sound is, is, is most affected by that. You'll also notice that certain parts of the game the physics will be off. Uh, so far, really in all my experiences with this, everything seems perfect here. Uh, very little lag. If, if any. Boy, these graphics are If you're a fan of been 90s computer gaming and had an SVGA graphic card, I think it really makes Donkey Kong Country look something a little bit more like that. I think we're seeing something that even though this was done, this was done on an advanced graphic workstation they were making 
I believe, uh, 32 and 64 bit graphics on for things like major animation projects. And they just took photos of them the same way they took photos of people for games like Mortal Kombat and put them into a Nintendo 64 just like they did with said game. And it looked much better. There were a lot less colors for the computer to recognize on this advanced workstation than there was in real life. So you really just have something that was just almost too good to be true at the time and this makes it even better. Now, I will continue to feature games from the wonderful computer named the Retron 5 and it really does a nice job with smoothing over sprites and games that were made with traditional means. Just, just basic development. So be sure to check in later on for those. We're, we're going to finish out with the rest of this level. It is amazing gameplay. A lot of people have kind of knocked Donkey Kong Country in the age of the internet. Kind of said it's a series that relied on graphics and I think it featured the best controls anyone had seen on a console at the time. There are some advanced physics here. If you try to get the game 100% complete, you are forced to do rolls off of platforms and do some very tricky things like I just did there kind of by accident in order to reach some bonus levels and spell out the word comp. So I want to thank you all very much for taking your time to join us in the video today. It was a pleasure again to share this with you and stay tuned there will be more stuff featured on the Retron 5 and many other great computers. Thanks again.